so I, I don't know if you've been following here at home. Um, I managed to get a very cheap little outdoor webcam, which looks really remarkable. I heard we have hot local possums there is, who want to talk to you. There, there is a possum. That's not we have a possum. He's adorable. He's he's funny, but that's not the one I wanted to bring up. Um, we've been looking after some of these uh these community cats. Some of them are feral. Some of them are strays. We look after them to you know, just give them water and food, make it available to them. There's a porch where they, a place they can go where there's no rain and you know. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, the other night I was live streaming and I look, I, I put the, I put the, the, the cat cam on for, for, uh, for my game stream. And I'm like, Hey, that's one of the ones I know. I'm going to go out and pet him and say hi. Well, first of all, it wasn't one of the ones I knew. Oh. Um, second of all, this little sh nice. has a collar. So it actually belongs to somebody. But it's coming over here scamming food off us. And third of all, across the street, their cat comes by and just takes snacks. Her name is Telly. She's gorgeous. She has long hair. She just comes and take has snacks. Third of all, and you're probably gonna have, you'll see this. You have to look at the screen to see this. Um, when I when I went out there to uh to 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 see him, I turned on the light, and this happened. There you go. There he is. He's actually tearing up the kicker toys we got for our, uh, the ones we look after because inside is catnip. I turn on the light. Oh no. I've been found out. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, boom. <laughs> sure delay. So I'm waiting for it to come out. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the gig is off. Run. Oh, nice. It Cheese it, it's the fuzz. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I told you. That's amazing. All right, with all that in mind, it's time for this week's uh Oh fuck. I, I can't eat. We have a lot of new shit this week. Yay. Like literally it's new because there's a piece of hair over here. The the all right. Technology has created new shit. We'll see that tonight. Anyway, let's get, let's get the intro going. Each week. Well, I can't speak. Catherine, the Radio Dead Air Alliance, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible shit. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong? Crypto. We're going to start this one in Florida. Of course. There is this, uh, <clears throat> it's, it, there's a phenomenon. It's vaguely related to the whole, do you know who I am? And it's also adjacent to Dunning Kruger. And it's this way that people who are very wealthy assume because they are very wealthy, they are a genius. I wonder where we've been seeing that a lot lately. Well, this guy thought escaping from prison, how hard could it be? <laughs> Multi-millionaire's alleged pot plot to escape from a Florida jail and return to France unraveled. Isn't that the plot of the movie version of SWAT? It probably is, I you remember when they made that SWAT movie with Colin Farrell? No. Oh, I've seen it like 10 times. Because of Colin Farrell. And Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Fort Lauderdale authorities say they foiled an elderly businessman's plan to escape a Florida jail, return to France, where he had previously fled in an attempt to avoid child pornography charges. So already off the bat. Fucking scumbag. Yeah. Um, a tip from inside the jail sparked a two-month investigation of John Manchek, 78, <clears throat> and people he had enlisted in his escape plan. Uh, Sheriff Eric Flowers said, essentially the plan comes down to this. These folks are on the outside. Are we to wait until Manchek has a doctor's visit? Then they are going to take out our correction staff while he's out at the medical facility. 
The plan called for Manchak's employees to pepper spray prison guards and take him to his private plane in nearby Fort Pierce so he could fly to France. Um, Manchak was arrested in 2014 on 49 child pornography charges. France. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, the escape plot centered on an April 12th medical appointment, but at least one of the people involved tipped off law enforcement, allowing investigators to unravel the plot. See, <clears throat> just because you are very wealthy does not mean someone's going to risk going to jail for you. Yeah, also, my mom used to work in the county jail, and she told me one of the first rules of jail, they don't like pedophiles yeah. in jail. No. Not like friend. people who fuck with kids yeah. don't, t they, they tend to get like protective solitary because they don't do great. So it's no surprise somebody turned them in because just, like something about like jail and prison code, like people who fuck with kids do not do well there. Examination of Manchek's jail phone records discovered he used the code words paint job. So he had a code word. While talking with his employees about the plot, they were to prepare his plane, his 140-foot yacht, a black utility van, and other vehicles purchased just for the escape attempt. Manchek, so we were going to be, like, really incognito. Manchek even paid for the bail for a cellmate that allowed to them to live at his home. That person helped prepare for the escape, down to packing a suitcase and his favorite liquor. Flower said the plans was to, quote, go back to his castle in France and never have to face the charges. But the charges were in France. No, no, they were here. They extradited him for oh. France. Okay. He was to go back. Um, yeah. I don't know if you know this, sir, but we do, in fact, still have an extradition treaty with France. They fight it sometimes, but we do. And for this sort of shit, they'd be like, like yeah, you could have him. It has not gone away so they will send your ass right back he's like i have all of this money what could go wrong well um the like, pick any other country first of all the thing about criminals is they are notoriously untrustworthy by virtue of wait for it being criminals see how that works is is they have not, not the most th th that whole honor among thieves things. Yeah, that's 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 not. You're gonna get complaints about that one. Oh fuck them! <laughs> My uncle's roommate's cousin was an embezzler, but he was like a Robin Hood type, and he was one of the best guys I ever knew. So how dare you? Why do you read the comments, Tara? Because they amuse me. That's just sadness. There, there's nothing good to be. All right. Hi, everybody on YouTube. I eagerly await your comments. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No. Yes. He does. Um, next up, this is also, this is just, how hard could it be? I'm sure you have heard of all this chat GPT thing. This, this, this newfangled mechanical Turk, what the children are enamored with. Um... If for some reason you don't know, or something like a time capsule, and some of you are watching this from 10 years in the future, when this whole fad has passed the fuck by, and I say that, they're in the future, they're like, they've got eight hundred years in the future when you dip this up from the nuclear rubble. Right. Um, ChatGPT is a uh, program that aggregates as much text as it can get, copyright be damned, and by analyzing it, judges the probability of the next thing you say, so that, put together, it looks as though it is intelligent and writing things. <laughs> However, dot, 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 it really isn't. I quote Queen Ramonda of Wakanda, AI will kill us all. A lawyer used chat GPT and now has to answer for his bogus citations. <clears throat> Filing in a case against Colombian airline Avianca cited six cases that don't exist 
But a law lawyer looking for, working with the plaintiff told the court, ChatGPT said they were real. So what he did was he had ChatGPT do his legal research for him and write up his legal filing. And and this is this is beautiful. Is Varghese a real case? Yes, Varghese versus China Southern Airlines Company Limited is a real case. It was not. It the thing about ChatGPT is sometimes because it generates the text and it bases what it generates on probability. It lies. Yeah, it puts together something. That would work. See, none of these cases he cited had valid case numbers. Why? They didn't fucking exist. But after the... Uh, okay. Hmm? How hard was it to just Google? LexisNexis and shit, right? So, but here's the thing. It gets better. The first round, he cites the cases, right? Sends it into the judge. They try to look up the cases to cite them. You can't find these fuckers. Hey, did you make a mistake? You need to, could, could you give us the text of what you're trying to, because we can't find this shit. So he goes back to chat GPT and he asks chat GPT, can you give me the text? Can you give me summation summary of this? Why? Sure. And it made up, it made up court cases. And he sent that back over to the judge. And now he's in so much fucking trouble. And he's trying to say, but it's not my fault. Chat GPT lied to me. I didn't know it could do that. Well, yeah. And like the article says, like, you don't even need to Google. <clears throat> There's a whole separate like search engine for lawyers. Yep. Yep. For specifically this. Yep. But no, you, yeah, it's called Westlaw. I probably. You have underlings, yeah, call paralegals who like their whole job is to research your case for you. I just they'd be like, okay, can you do it for me? Do it for me, machine, smart machine. You can do this. I believe in smart machine. And you're a lawyer. You somehow you got through eight years of law school and passed the bar. I mean, Ben Carson was a brain surgeon, man. Point. Point. You can be, you can be, I feel like everybody knows this person. You can be an absolute fucking red hot genius in your lane. And everywhere else, it's amazing that you remember to breathe and pee. Like, everybody knows at least one person like that. Like, pilots, apparently it's really common. Like, they are really fucking good at piloting. Everything else in life. Well, the good news here is, and I don't know if you know this, but judges are normally very accommodating when you, you fuck around in court. <laughs> they're, they're very glad. Hold up, hold up. Wait, wait. No, no, I'm being told, yes, you do find out after fucking around. That, that is, that is good to know. That is, that is good information. That is the more you, um, a fucking idiot. This will work and I won't have to pay anybody. I'm so smart. Ugh, I hear what. Yeah, ah. I guess, I guess it saves you money paying a paralegal salary. And is he going to represent himself in court? Or the whole time. I am not going to do well. I kind of hope so. It's going to be hilarious. Uh, I mean, well, it'd be bad for him. It'd be great for us, because fuck yeah. Yeah. Well, our next one, of course, we have, uh, we've got video. This next one. Um, And you know what joke I'm going to get, go with, because how could I not? It's it's right there. It's, it's I'm a Get, get, get you that headline there, Tara. It's right there. As over in Connecticut. That's terrible. A black bear. Get the, uh, it's got to be about a black bear. 
Um, the video, damn it. Just have it. There it is. A black bear stole, uh, stole 60 cupcakes. He stole 60 cupcakes. And that's terrible. As many as six tens. And that's terrible. And here's, okay, so, uh, for, for a, a bakery, the uh, hungry black bear barged the garage of a Connecticut bakery, scared away several employees, and helped himself to 60 cupcakes before ambling away. Workers at Taste by Spellbound of the town of Avon were loading cupcakes into a van for delivery on Wednesday. The bear showed up. There are 1,000 to 1,200 black bears living in Connecticut. Um... Uh, the, uh, the bakery's explain owner. Explain that to Brian. Huh? Yeah, explain that. Uh, sorry, a bear hates your shit. Hi, um, I know you have the baby shower today. I'm, I, I don't, I don't really know how to explain why you're not getting the cupcakes. Because <laughs> you're not going to believe me when I tell you. The baker's owner, Miriam Stevens, wrote in an Instagram post that she heard employee Maureen Williams screaming bloody murder and yelling that there was a bear in the garage. Williams told Damn right. TV station w- WTNH that she shouted to scare the bear off, but it retreated and came back three times. Well, Miriam, you make some excellent fucking cupcakes is the problem. You do. You make some damn good cupcakes. That should honestly be your next commercial. If you pay for commercials, that should be your next commercial. So good, the bear's so one. good. Yeah. The bear just keeps coming back. Uh, the bear charged at her, so she backed out of the garage and ran. Yeah. The bear was like, fuck you, my cupcakes. Not yours. These are mine. The baker finally got the bear to leave. Are my these red velvet? Jesus. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Is this real cream cheese? <clears throat> I um, bark, bitches. Go. Baker finally got the bear to leave by honking a car horn. That would get me to leave, too. Yeah. Four foot thief was gone by the time police and officers from the Connecticut Department of Energy and Environmental Protection arrived. No one was injured. On a series of recent troubling interactions between black bears and the really want have you watched Shit's creek i have not no. i Wonderful probably should show. considering the writer strike so you know you are just talking about recommending things yeah absolutely wonderful show cannot recommend it enough incredibly funny with that with almost never being mean-spirited which is not easy to do but they're canadian okay so what i want out of this is the surveillance footage of the bear there's a scene from Schitt's Creek where there's a character who's just at a buffet at a party and someone walks up and starts talking to him and he says with his mouth still full, I thought I was shame eating in private. So I want that audio dinged <laughs> over to you of the bear. <laughs> I thought I was shame eating in private. What's yeah. shame eating? Oh, we don't have time to go into that right now. The poor bear. I, I feel bad for the bear because he didn't know any fucking. The bear, got, I don't, the bear got 60 cupcakes. I think he had a pretty good day. He's like, this is the best day of my life. What could go wrong? Yeah. The bear is probably still in a sugar coma. <laughs> he had to hear a horn honk. Like, really, I think the bear did okay in this scenario. Now we have he to- didn't get shot. We have to wonder, is the bear going to keep this information for himself? Or is he going to share it with the other bears? Is this a socialist bear, is what we need to ask. Are they, are they going to be delivering to a wedding next week and have like <laughs> 10 bears ambling down the street? <laughs> are you now paying for protection from the bear mafia? Uh, all right, we got a couple more. This is from Florida, because of course it is, and it's terrible, because of course it is. We've had incidents of people exposing themselves in public, and we've had 
instances of people, uh, you know, putting porn where, you know, people should you know, don't want to see it. Like emailing people your dick, right? Dick pics. This guy, this is new and also it probably the last time you're going to hear it because it's incredibly stupid. Man arrested for airdropping naked photos to strangers. No, I've seen this before. This is apparently things dudes are doing on airplanes now. According to tell if you're on the if you if you buy like the in-flight Wi-Fi. According to Tulsa Police on May 4th, officers responded to a call from an apartment complex. Employees of the apartment complex said the suspect identified as Stygic Helm. Hell of a name there. Look at oh, that mugshot. Damn right. Uh, arrived at the airport complex near 71st and Sheridan for a report of a decent exposure. The employees of the apartment complex said the suspect arrived at the complex to apply for an apartment while Helm was sitting at the computer filling out applications. Employees told officers they received two airdrop notifications where another iPhone was attempting to send photos. Police say they were curious about the contents and accepted the airdrop request. Oh, no, honey. They told uh, TPD the airdrop photos they received were of Helm naked in front of a America, mirror and of photos of his genitals. So here's the thing. You have put your face in the dick pic. I don't know if you understand this. Huh? What? So they have all your fucking information. They quite literally can put a face to the name and also a dick to the name, but they, they, they've got... You understand this is illegal, right? I think they're going to rent to you. No! I don't think you're getting the apartment, Stajic. You need to wait till... You need to wait till you have them locked into a lease. Yes, you need you need to yes, but you don't. <laughs> you signed that lease, or was that supposed to like sweeten the deal? <laughs> like, hey, you should let me move into this building. I I have I have a fleshy little pork sword between my legs. Yeah, we, we know. Why in the name of what in the fuck? Why the fuck? Like you, you understand? All right, even if you try to do this, it's illegal. Why did you put your face in there? Yeah, because also, honey, like now you're not getting an apartment anywhere because your introduction to that is going to be, "Hi, I am required by law <laughs> to tell you that I am a registered sex offender." Yes, yes. You go on a special list and life gets very terrible. Forever. Yeah. Is, what the, no one did, this is such a bad plan. I don't even know if it so was a plan. I, I know I've said this before. It's a rule on the show. No one We're not, we don't. No one wants to see you. We're not as interested in it. Yeah. I know that you are obsessed with it mm -hmm. for some reason. Like, I you you think about your dick four hundred and seventy two times a day or something. Nobody else gives a single dusty honey mustard covered fuck. No, no. Even other guys, don't. sorry, not really. Even you know, just sorry. No straight guys anyway. But he, you're yeah. also you're also not the only person with one. You all seem to think that for some reason. Yeah. That like it's special. It's not. It's a meat tube. That's it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Let's get back to our wheelhouse briefly. Uh, so Pennsylvania. This is one that's happened before. All of this has happened before. It will happen again. This is fucking Battlestar Galactica. Um, although you have, you usually have very, you're very sympathetic to people in this position. I understand. Pennsylvania man in jail after nearly burning his house down. To kill spiders. So before cancer came along, a spider bite was the scariest medical thing that had ever happened. Fair enough. Fair enough. According to WTAJ, Joshua Jenkins, 40, 42 of Altoona, was arrested Thursday night. Oh, this is Pennsylvania. Yes, I thought it was Florida. It's Pennsylvania. 
um, after he called 911 for a house fire that he reportedly started, quote, while trying to burn spiders. The AJ said the police said Jenkins was, quote, combative when first responders arrived and gave them difficulty trying to locate the fire. He reportedly told them he was using a butane torch, actually a propane torch, to burn the spiders and their nests from outside of his home. This accused him of trying to stop firefighters from taking a fire hose into his home. No, really, I got it. It's fine. It's nice of y'all, but we got it in here. Yeah. Why did the why did the first responders waste time asking him where the fire was? I don't. It's not your job. Go blow past him and find that shit. Like, it shouldn't be hard. It's, it's fire. It's quite literally Seymour. The house is on fire. No mothers, just the northern lights. Like it's it's fire. It shouldn't be hard for you to fight it. Why are you asking him to locate it for you? Just go find it. Like, that's what you do. They just said Jenkins was arrested with arson, risky catastrophe. But I didn't know that was a crime. Deep. Possession of an instrument of crime, tampering with evidence and other lesser charges. The, uh, the last line of this article is gold. The shoe method, or catch and release, is always the way to go with spiders. But they don't explain those to you. Fire is the worst possible pesticide. Yeah. Because while, yes, it will kill the fuck out of the insects, it will kill the fuck out of everything else, too. I mean, some, there are cockroaches that are pretty much flame-proof. I <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, if you go in with fight, you might find out there's a lot more spiders than you knew about. <laughs> like the shit, no risk you take. Like that shit in arachnophobia, yeah. <laughs> you find you think there's one, and there's fucking three thousand, and now you know that. If you want the spiders to go away, contact the professional, who will quite likely not use fire. Yeah. Got one more this night. This if is from a professional. They make little caustic. They make little caustic chemicals and cans, but are also not fire. Got one last one tonight, and uh, this is from the Department of You Complete Tit. the 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 nerve of this motherfucker, the utter, goddamned nerve. I I. I hate this guy. India official drains entire dam to retrieve phone. Government official in India has been suspended after he ordered a reservoir to be drained to retrieve his phone. It took three days to pump millions of liters of water out of the dam after Rajesh Vishwas dropped the device while taking a selfie. Bro, it's not going to work anymore. <laughs> By the time it was found, the phone was too waterlogged log to work. <laughs> like, the throw it and race thing is for, like, if you drop it in the sink for 10 seconds. Mr. V it's not going to work. Also, what the fuck is on that phone? Mr. Vishwas claimed it contained sensitive government data and needed retrieving, but he has been accused of misusing his position. Food inspector dropped his Samsung phone worth about $1,200. Who the fuck buys a $1,200 fucking phone? <clears throat> My phone, $350. $1,200. Into the uh, Kirkata Dam. Central Indi Indonesia, in Central Indian state of, uh, I'm going to say that wrong and sound like an idiot. We'll just say Central India. I look like a, a fool. Um, local divers failed to, I look like a fool anyway, I know. Local divers failed to find it. He paid a diesel pump to be brought in. Now let's pause here. A $1,200 phone 
He has already hired divers for fuck knows how much. Now he has brought in a diesel pump. He said he had verbal permission from an official to drain some water into a nearby canal, adding that the official said it, quote, would in fact benefit the farmers who would have more water. The pump ran for several days, emptying out roughly two million liters or 440,000 gallons of water, reportedly enough to irrigate six square kilometers of farmland. His mission was stopped when another official from the Water Resource Department arrived following a complaint. Been suspended until an inquiry. Denied misusing his position, said the water he drained was from the overflow section. It was not in usable condition, but his actions have drawn criticism from politicians. What? What the fuck? What in the... What the fuck is wrong with you? What is on that SIM card? That's what I want now. You know, that I'm thinking that too. I'm thinking, God, no one could ever find it. No one could ever find it. God help me. No one. Oh no, if they drain the, the dam, it'll actually be it'll actually be good if they drain the if they pour all the water over. It'll be good. It'll be good for you you see, it's it's fine. Science and stuff. You find my phone? If there's no if there's no water in the reservoir, you'll have more water for your farms. That doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. The utter fucking nerve of this motherfucker. Six four hundred and forty thousand gallons of water just hosed it into a canal. Good job. This would be great. I I'm fucking speechless at this jackass. This is the, the kind of person who thinks I am special. The world revolves around me. Whatever it takes will get me what I need. I feel like there is something amazing on that phone. Like there is either concrete proof of the existence of alien life or concrete proof of his dick somewhere it definitely shouldn't have been <laughs> like they, they, there is, he didn't want this phone showing up like the one ring washing its way down to the <laughs> shire did, did you and Samwise Gamgee pulling the sim card like what's this did you ever watch? I mean, you probably haven't have watched this. This is what one of those while we're in the middle of the writer strike show to recommend show from England called The Thick of It. It's probably one of the best political shows I've ever seen. It's a it's a comedy. You're but not. I'm it's familiar a, with it. Yeah. It's this is the kind of thing that would have happened on The Thick of It because th this is while taking a selfie while a fucking self. I feel like this is the kind of thing that would happen on Parks and Rec. Yeah, I could see that. Like, Council and Jam. Yeah. Yeah. Would drop it into, like, the the water thing at the petting zoo and have it drained. Fucking teeth. You, you complete asshole. Yeah. Yeah, well, the first thing we've learned tonight is sometimes... When you drop your phone in a reservoir, brother, let it go because Johnny. it's gone. It's done. Um, we have learned that fire is the worst insecticide. We learned that maybe if you're going to try to do a terribly illegal thing involving nudity and photos, don't put your goddamn face in there and certainly don't fill out an application at the place you're doing it like your IP address from your phone. We have learned that if you are in the cupcake business, beware of bears. Probably something you never had to think about when you were you were in culinary school. I, I bet you nobody... In when, when you registered your LLC, you probably weren't thinking 
There probably was what is fair. There probably there wasn't a class about here is now here's how we take precautions against the fucking wildlife. We have learned that while AI is not going to rise up and kill us all because that's not how it works, it is going to make some people incredibly stupid. Well, it won't make them stupid. They were already stupid. Yeah, it's just it's an avenue for stupidity. And finally, it's we've just another it's the, in a, another tool that the stupid have. And finally, we've learned that just because you have millions of dollars does not make you a criminal mastermind. It just makes you an asshole. I mean, Elon. 